There were occasions when the doctor and their companions were separated more by circumstance than the wishes of either party. Perhaps the most obvious case of this was when the Tenth Doctor and Rose Tyler were separated by the closure of the walls between dimensions. TV, Doomsday. Sarah Jane Smith's departure occurred because the Fourth Doctor was summoned to Gallifrey, TV, The Hand of Fear, at a moment in Gallifreyan history when humans weren't allowed on the planet. TV, School Reunion. The Time Lords forced Zoe and Jamie to part from the Second Doctor, with only the memories of their first adventure with him intact. TV, The War Games, the Time Lords later claimed they had developed this procedure into a standard response for companions with whom they dealt. The Sixth Doctor, for instance, encountered a version of Perry Brown who had been given the Jamie and Zoe treatment. She retained memories only of the adventure with the Fifth Doctor, Turlo and the Tremors Master which began on Lanzarote. Audio, Perry and the Piskin Paradox, finally, whilst in his tenth body, the doctor had to stabilize the effects of a biologically untenable combination of his DNA with Donna Nobles. To do so, he had to submerge all memories of her time with him and shield her from those memories lest she die. Thus, although he did, in a sense, kick her out of the TARDIS for her own good, neither wanted it. TV, Journey's End. She did briefly remember snippets of her travels but was knocked unconscious by it and then forgot again. TV, The End of Time. Similarly, Donna's consciousness was saved to the library against her will, causing her to forget about the doctor and spending years from her point of view married to Lee McAvoy. This was only temporary, however, and soon afterwards she resumed her travels. TV, Silence in the Library, Forest of the Dead, Jack Harkness' days in the TARDIS came to an end in similarly unusual circumstances. Because he had died and been resurrected by Rose as the bad wolf entity, he became, in the words of the Tenth Doctor, just wrong. No longer able to die, he was instead a kind of fixed point in time, which the TARDIS herself rejected. TV, Utopia. Nevertheless, the Doctor re-invited him on board the TARDIS, TV, Last of the Time Lords, and he later traveled aboard it without apparent difficulty. TV, Journey's End. However, on both occasions, he was more interested in pursuing a life with Torchwood 3 than returning to the Doctor's side on a long-term basis. Amy Pond and Rory Williams were sent back in time by a weeping angel, separating them from the 11th Doctor for the remainder of their lives. They both died at age 87 and 82 respectively. TV, The Angels Take Manhattan.